One of the biggest positive effects of the pandemic has been on the environment and wildlife, whether that's a short term effect on air quality or a long term effect on animal life. Charleston saw both. Empty roads, clear sidewalks and vacant storefronts, a negative for the economy, but a positive for air quality. Our daily lives were fundamentally changed with the pandemic. Less people were on the roads, less people were flying, less people heading into work. Those shutdowns leading to less pollutants like ozone, particulate matter and nitrogen dioxide. Storm Team 2 meteorologist David Dixon says it's easy to see the effects. It's estimated that around 25% of global emissions were reduced during uh, the key shutdown times of the pandemic. Now pollution is mainly back to usual levels, but those few months of good air quality made a big difference. When you're talking about lessened air quality with a disease that primarily impacts uh, the lungs, it really does make a difference. Cleaner air leads to uh, a little bit lessened impact with COVID. A longer impact that will be seen here in Charleston is on the beaches where shorebirds made a new home. This season was the first time that least terns were successfully nesting out here. Least terns are a state threatened species with only 1000 nesting in South Carolina, according to wildlife biologist Janet Tebow. Had about 32 pairs that nested here on the beach and they hatched their chicks and we were really happy to see it. The habitat was perfect for them this year. Since beaches were closed to the public, the birds found remote locations that would not be interrupted by foot traffic. There wasn't too much predation and um, they, they successfully hatched their chicks and that was really great to see. This was only uh, one of three beach locations that was um, successful for lease turns this year. Since the lease turns were able to hatch their chicks, they will be back next year, hopefully making Folly Beach a permanent home. Next week, we will finish our series on positives of the pandemic by looking at telehealth and how medicine will never be the same. In Folly Beach, I'm Danielle Hensley. Count on two.